And this declaration contained a number of important ideas, but two of them are really important, and we as humanity should bear that in our minds and hearts. The first one was declared that human being is born as free, and the other that we are all equal. These most important ideas for humanist thought, uh, so publicly announced by the very people in 1789, they express what is really fundamental for every living person, and this creates the foundation of a healthy society and a democratic state. The life of each and every one of us, everybody who wants to have an open approach towards others, should be guided by these two principles. And uh, I cannot see any uh, exceptions for it. So we should not list any types of equality with regards to any features of properties, because equality and freedom are unconditional. That is why I'm extremely happy that Krakow is the city in which these principles are binding, in which we remember about them, and that is why we can we can welcome uh, with open hearts not only the executive director of Free Muse, but also the report that shows us how we should not behave and what should not happen. Freedom is the freedom of expression, the freedom of expression of thoughts and beliefs. Also, it is the freedom to live according to somebody's belief, and the role of the city is to create appropriate conditions to pursue somebody's freedom. In the democracies or the dictatures, we assist to a deterioration alarmante des droits and des libertés. Les persécutions politiques, la censure, les femmes privées de leur droit d'expression, les minorités réduites au silence, les attaques contre la communauté LGBTI constituent l'essentiel des violations recensées. En Pologne, Hongrie, Bulgarie ou encore en Roumanie, la question des LGBTI est devenue un cheval de bataille des gouvernements. Dans plusieurs des États de l'Union, des alliances anti-LGBTI se sont créées entre les illibéraux, les mouvements catholiques ou les organisations d'extrême droite. Le droit international expose clairement l'interdiction de toute discrimination, y compris basée sur l'orientation sexuelle et l'identité sexuelle. Il est donc essentiel de condamner toute discrimination ou propos haineux relatifs à la communauté LGBTIQ. Les artistes sont d'autant plus la cible de ces attaques, car d'une part ils sont visibles, ils font adhésion auprès des jeunes, ils sont donc perçus comme une menace par les autorités conservatrices et par les sociétés traditionnelles. Je tiens encore une fois à remercier Free Muse pour ce rapport qui contribuera au débat en cours sur ces atteintes aux libertés vécues par les personnes LGBTIQ et à examiner de près Euh, sur leur présence dans les domaines culturels et sur les, leur vie de manière plus générale. Donc merci euh, pour votre travail et à très bientôt. Uh, regardless of um, the, the standing, we are still very concerned that this is um, a statement of intention of discrimination of particular peoples in the society and it has direct effect on LGBT uh, people and artists in the countries. Um, and we hope that the trends will be reversed rather than continue on this path. LGBT human rights are human rights, the same human rights of everyone else. LGBT freedom of expressions are the same freedom of expressions of everyone else. These rights are guaranteed and entitled in international human rights law. And yet in many parts of the world, as this report has shown, this right has been limited, restricted in a very illegitimate way. The committee, for example, of ministers of the EU has made it very clear that neither cultural tradition nor religious values nor the rules of dominant culture can be invoked to justify hate speech or any other form of discrimination 
including on the ground of sexual orientation and gender identity. And that would sum up the challenges and the grounds that's being used against LGBTI artists. Scarecrows. This series of constructions refers directly to motifs related to the spooky legends of the countryside. All sorts of strange figures and scarecrows placed in the fields to scare away wild animals. Over a dozen such frights were produced based on several different variations on the cross, a symbol that appears in a range of forms and permutations. After close to four months of work, these pieces were first exhibited in Kuruvek, set up in the wintertime on nearby fields as an open-air installation of a functional significance. Riharski's frights serve as an alternative archive attesting to the presence of bodies that don't fit within the narrowly defined confines of identity. Each of the items of clothing used in the project came from a specific collection or exchange with members of the LGBT plus community who have experienced some form of discrimination in their daily lives. And it's not easy, but it's also super important to do that, uh, to manage this uh, multi uh, um uh, cultural heritage we have um, to address it and to um, learn from it because it's uh, I th when I uh, look at Krakow I see um, a place uh, co-created by so many people from different countries, ethnicities, races throughout history. Uh, we've had an amazing represent uh, representatives of, of arts in academia, which was, which it was uh, people also um, of uh, different sexual orientation, and that's a part of our history of our. Uh, um, of our story. Freedom of expression come very close to who they are as a person because if they can't say this is me, this is my identity, when you can't say who you are to the public, it you is lose a large part of your humanity itself. And I believe that Krakow is a part of human rights cities in this global sense of cities they believe and they express themselves through uh, intercultural diversity, through um, through a right to express the, uh, the, to give a voice to all those um, people. They are silenced in different contexts. A proposal that we put forward to all <clears throat> of our friends and colleagues around the world is for us to explore how an LGBTI action network can be develop, create, and help contribute to positive change, how we can turn this and offer solution. Now, if you look at what's the very purpose of this LGBT Action Network, the main purpose is to create and develop space and platforms for LGBTI artists and arts and culture organizations to be able to enjoy, be able to express, exercise their rights to free expression in a very safe, without fear of persecution. There is danger in dark places. For men like us, there are no spaces where we can be proud, where we can be free, where I can love you and you can love me. LGBTI rights are human rights. Freedom of expression for LGBTI people is freedom of expression for all humanity. We will light up the darkness which hides injustice and nurtures cruelty with our community of hope. We will not be silenced. 
We will challenge rules that discriminate, policy that excludes, and practice that divides. We will end impunity of violence from fear, of expression from hatred. We will not be silenced. Take action, for only action will bring about change. Be a part of our community, the LGBTI Action Network for Artistic Freedom. Let me 